Well, they're loyal companions who risk their lives for Americans each and every day. In tonight's Good News Guarantee, an organization that looks after the nation's canines long after they retire from duty. We're a layer of security here at Midway, um, so <clears throat> we help mitigate the risk uh, for transportation purposes um, by explosive detection. Susie is a TSA employee on the job at Chicago's Midway Airport. She sniffs the air currents to detect explosive materials. The eight-year-old German Shepherd doesn't think twice about her role protecting travelers. I've had her since she was uh, about 18 months old. She's part of the family. That's why her handler, Justin Wolfschlag, was elated when he learned all of Susie's medical care would be paid for by the national nonprofit Project Canine Hero. Jason Johnson founded the organization in 2016. No one was there to help these working dogs once they get out of service. That uh, their medical care, um, that's not taken care of by the agencies they serve. It's up to the handler, whoever adopts the dog. Their motto is protecting those who protected us. And that is exactly what Ross did while he served, protecting everyone else around him. Each week, Project Canine Hero selects one canine to receive lifelong medical care. The fact that my family doesn't come out doesn't have to come out of pocket anymore um, once she retires and she stays with us is absolutely amazing because that can be upwards of twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. To date, the organization has paid for the health care of 256 canines in retirement. I was elated to hear about this canine project hero and their effectiveness of providing that type of medical care for canines after they ex their usefulness for the federal government or any law enforcement entity. For Susie, it means she'll receive the top-notch medical care she deserves after a decade serving our country. They raise their paw and, you know, without hesitation, they will give their life for you and I. They'll give their life for their partner. I'm trying to change the way laws are written. I'm trying to change the way we as a government or a society look at these dogs, and I want to make sure they're taken care of for generations to come. And if you're interested in learning more about Project Canine Hero, you can go to the website. It is projectcaninehero.org. And what I also love about the organization is they're, they're based out of Tennessee, and they have a kennel there for, for dogs, canines that Very don't cool. have homes. And so they take care of them there, and um, they're able to adopt them out. It's like a VA well. hospital for dogs. It is, yeah. It's a really lovely organization. <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah.